Like us, Drew. All right, uh, Dan. Yeah, like Drew. Danielle. Yeah. All right. So you're 15. Huh? You uh, you you've been getting raped quite a bit. The uh, summer chock full of rape. You, she was you, abandoned as a child. Yes. You come from this uh, horrible family. You're into substance abuse. And uh, where are you living now? Are you back home? Yeah. So okay. I was in a hospital. I just got out in October, like the middle of October. Have you ever been involved in recovery at all? In what? Recovery. Drug addiction recovery? We'll, we'll take that as a no. Yeah. The, uh, in what? You, you really need to look into some recovery, right? Some addiction yeah. treatment. You yeah. need to do that. And realize that, that I was telling Deshaunty during the break, that what happens when somebody has the sort of usual fabric of uh, safety of the normal social structure ripped away and they are rendered completely powerless in some sort of traumatizing situation the arousal of that etches into the brain a pattern that causes them to go out to try to master that by reenacting it over and over and over again and so while this awful rape thing was you know something you would ultimately avoid the acknowledgement of the powerlessness is more painful than actually pushing that away by trying to master it by repeatedly engaging in the same behavior. I'm sure she absorbed all of that, True. Well, uh, like simply put, like if you follow your feelings and, and where, you're, where your feelings kind of naturally take you, you're going to like, they're just going to kind of keep leading you down the same road. And if you, if you check out some maybe some recovery things, it might give you some different tools, which you'll feel totally weird at the time and like foreign and, and not as arousing as what you know, which is what you're right. repeating. And, and the arousal is where the attraction is, but you know you that little voice inside you that goes, geez, why am I doing this? This is not right for me. Mm. That's your real instinct. That's really where you want to be. And the attractions and the arousals associated with that is all just side effect from having been traumatized so badly. Okay, well, I go to like three counselors right now. One's a drug addiction. Good. The other one's a rape crisis. Well, why don't you get with this? You've got lots of treatment at your disposal. Well, get with okay. it. I'm bipolar. I, look, yeah. no excuses. Get with it. Do the program. Follow direction. Okay, but see, I put myself in the places. I Right. No. My fault because I... Nope, no, nope. That's a way common to, to blame yourself. That, again, yeah, it's avoiding yeah. that powerlessness. Where it's it's more less painful that's, to take responsibility yeah. for these things that you had no control over. A guy ran into your room and you're in a hospital and raped you. Somebody put something in your drink and raped you. Well, wait but a minute. Loud. She is yeah, taking responsibility for it. No, 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 no. It's, it's, but it's not... These were random things that were not her responsibility. The point is, rather, rather than experience the powerlessness, which is the more painful issue, you should rather say, no, it's my fault. Right. I put myself there and then you get this whole you know period well, of well let's work with her logic and say don't put yourself there anymore can you do yeah, that well it do, you're not thinking your mind's not functioning logically when your brain and this like feeling or sensation is overpowering especially when you're so young i mean it seems like until you get sick and tired of ending up in the same place enough are you willing to like do behave differently or try different things that are totally new that just aren't familiar like seems like human beings are creatures of habit and we like what's from what we know even if it sucks and it hurts okay but see you have to realize this is really hard for me the medicine that i'm taking none of it works for me yeah all right well why don't you talk to your counselor your 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 psychiatrist about that and see if you can get it adjusted well we've been doing that and nothing works well listen nothing's gonna work if you just keep declaring nothing works right i mean here's the deal because we're out of time and uh, i'm gonna close this up by saying this danny i've talked to a thousand of you in the uh, five years i've been here and the future is not bright unless you really make some effort to make some change going on instinct and just kind of floating with the flow the way the wind blows it's going to blow you right into hell you understand? Yeah. You're going to have to work. And it's sad. Not the way the wind blows you, but the way every feeling in your body and mind is driving you to go. Easy, baby. Sometimes. It's getting a little cathartic for Shani over here. <laughs> no, what, but what sometimes I'm, it's What I'm true. saying is, is because of your past, and I'm sorry it happened to you, but it does happen to people, you're going to have to work harder than most people in yeah. order to have the kind of life that they didn't seem to have to work so hard for. That's well put. It's going to be a full-time job for you to stay out of trouble, to stay straight, to not get loaded, to not get raped, to not get pregnant. It's going to be an effort. But you know what? You have no alternative. That is it. It's either that or be, you know, pregnant junkie at 16. Right. So you're in the hands of some people who can help you. Let them help you and work with it. That's it. It's going to be slow, but you're 15, you're young, you started early, 
You can still have a great life. All right? But you got to work. I mean, let me, you know, this is the way life is in, in many, many respects. I mean, there's some people that don't start off with all the advantages. Sometimes it's physical, sometimes it's mental or emotional. And for those people where sometimes reading doesn't come easy to people, oh, sometimes... Gosh. Uh, now I'm getting cathartic. <laughs> Math doesn't come easy to some people. Some people have difficulty. They weren't, they're not the smartest. They're not the tallest. They're not the best looking. There's some people that uh, eat, eat uh, half a baked potato and put on 20 pounds. Those people, and then there's some people that uh, go to Carl's Jr. stick their head in the deep fryer. And don't put on, don't put on an ounce. The people that put the weight on are going to have to work. They got to work harder. That's it. It may, may, it'll probably probably make you a better person in many ways. My but you're going to have to work at it. All right, Alex. I'm going to go home and jack off a nap after this. By the way, <laughs> keep your mouth closed. Uh, oh, oh yes. Nice. I don't, need any, goggles. don't need any of my uh, seed <laughs> planted in my own soil. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Alex? Yeah. You're